In the moments after Buffalo Bills' Darmer Hamlin collapsed on the football field last night, his teammates cried, they prayed, and like so many of us, they wondered what happened. We now know that his heart stopped. But what does that mean for his recovery and for other players? Joining us now is Dr. Ray Bargu, Chief of Cardiology with Dignity Health Glendale Memorial. Thanks for your time, doctor. Thank you so much for having me. Um, our uh, thought and prayers at Dignity is with Damar Hamlin and his family. I think the whole nation is rooting for his recovery. Yeah, we certainly are. Let's start at the beginning. Can you explain the difference between cardiac arrest and a heart attack? Um, it's confusing terms, um, uh, but they're completely different. Cardiac arrest as you know, the heart is a muscle that has an electrical system and coronary arteries that supply the heart with oxygen and nutrient. When you have a blockage in one of the arteries of the heart, this is where myocardial infarction or heart attack happens. Mm -hmm. Cardiac arrest, on the other hand, is an electrical problem. It can happen from myocardial infarction, from heart attack, where the plumbing problem affects the electrical system but it can also happen from a variety of other reasons as well. And as we saw here, uh, we're hearing more that it was really the blunt force trauma of this. How common is something like this among all sorts of sports that could result in this type of injury or trauma to the chest? Now, I don't have or we don't have an update regarding uh, his clinical condition or what happened exactly. I can only speculate. Mm. Looking at the video that most likely what happened is something we call um, uh, commercial cordis, which is a, a blunt trauma that happened at a specific time of the cardiac cycle, lead to a cardiac arrest, ventricular fibrillation, where the heart basically stops and you don't have any perfusion to the vital organs, including the brain, liver, kidney, etc. So obviously a very serious condition. They're monitoring him now. What, what's going to be important for them to watch in the days going forward? Most importantly, after cardiac arrest, is the time to do CPR and defibrillation. This is what determine usually outcome after cardiac arrest. Um, uh, brain recovery, neurological recovery is, is essential for people to survive those cardiac uh, arrest events. So probably I would assume that currently he's on the ventilator, on a breathing machine uh, with hypothermia, lowering down his uh, temperature, body temperature, trying to preserve brain tissue. And then over the next day or two, they will be uh, looking at decreasing sedation, see if there is any neurological recovery. All right, Dr. Bargut, we appreciate your insight. Thank you so much for this. We, we do thank you. Thank you so much.